Hello everyone, it's Thumper the Rabbit Rabbit. I had a request from YouTube user ArgB. Love that name. And uh, the question was about uh, demonstrating how the height or placement height or altitude of wind turbines affects their performance. So I set up a little demonstrator here for that and uh, if the wind goes the right direction I might even be able to show off uh, something extra here. But it is important what altitude you place or what height you place your turbines. Um, this one on the ground right here I have connected to this guy in the middle because I'm going to use him for something else. But the three on the wall show a surface level turbine, that's the one back there. The middle one shows the half height tower here that's nine stories. And this one shows my full height tower which is uh, 19 stories, that's as high as I could get stability. And you can see the one at the full height tower is getting uh, 150, almost 150 power, it's max power. Um, and maybe losing one just from the length of the cable coming all the way down here. Uh, the middle one is getting 116 and the one down here on the deck is only getting 74. Now, this is why the uh, altitude placement is important is because not only do you get more power, but you also get higher reliability. So. Uh, for those of you who hate the cold, uh, reconsider building that base on a mountain. Uh, my first electricity base was on the top of a mountain, and I got fantastic wind power. It was only three stories tall, but three stories tall on the top of a mountain gets you, uh, you know, almost up that high right there. So it's a very reliable power, um, and you get a lot of it. I honestly can't remember if my wind turbines ever actually stopped completely on that base because I was so high up. So when you're building your base, uh, you don't have to build a tower, just make sure you get your wind turbine up on the top of your base, um, especially if it's a few stories tall. If it's not, maybe throw a couple extra blocks up on top so that you can get the turbine up and away. And one of the reasons for doing that is that wind to the turbine can actually be obstructed as well. And I'm going to see if I can't demonstrate that for you down here on this ground one in the middle. If I... Uh, Ah, uh, yeah, uh, it's a little too close. I can't quite get walls up here. They're too close to the turbine behind me. But once I start doing this and start putting um, stuff in the way, see it stop? That's it. That's what I wanted to show you. So now with these walls in the way, you can see um, it's actually completely turned off. Uh, and that's what happens when you block wind to a wind turbine. So that's the danger of having it down on the ground or within um, two to three-ish, probably three squares of any uh, structure, it can actually get its wind blocked. So when you're placing them down on the ground next to your base, be aware that you should get them you know, more than three squares away at least if you don't want to block them and affect their wind uh, throughput. Um, even obviously here just getting it up a square above any wall will help it a little bit but ideally get it up at altitude um, maybe up on the top of a tower if you can do that but at least on the very top of your base and you will get better performance the higher you go better reliability the higher you go and staying away from walls or other obstructions that are within a few squares will keep the wind from being blocked from that direction if the wind happens to shift that way. So there's some tips on placement and use of the wind turbine. Uh, good luck and don't suck.